In this part of the lesson, we will look at how we can change the thickness and the appearance of the lines in our shapes using different variables. Let's start with something we're familiar with. We saw before how we define the fill up shapes using color by calling the fill function with parameters describing the color. We saw that after calling the fill function, all shape functions were filled with the same color. So let's say we define blue as the fill color and then drew a rectangle with a circle. They will both be filled with blue. This is an example of settings that impact all future statement calls. In this case, using the function fill, we've set a setting variable that describes the fill color. In drawing with processing, there are other variables that we can set, such that they all impact all subsequent shape drawings. We look at the thickness of the line and the line ending, but there are others, such as the color of the line, that we can explore later. Say we wanted to draw shapes with thicker lines than the default used by processing. In this case, similar to the fill function, we would need to set the thickness or the line weight of the line by using the stroke weight function. Its parameters define the thickness or the weight of the line. So let's try to first draw a line followed by increasingly thicker lines. To do that, we would first draw a line as usual. The default value for the set weight parameter is 1. So if we called stroke weight of 1 and then the line, we will have the same results as above. Now we want to set the line weight to something thicker, so we'll do something like this. And if we want to set it to something really thick, we can try something like this. Now when we draw the thicker of the lines, we can notice how the line endings are rounded. We can set these variables by using the stroke cap function. The possible line ends in processing are either squared, extended, or rounded, each of which is specified with the corresponding parameters, square, project, and round. The default cap is round. Let's try it in code. We'll set the line weight to be really thick by doing stroke weight of 10. Then we'll set the line cap to square by doing stroke cap of square and drawing a line. If we want to see how the extended cap looks like, we can try something like this. 